The moment Mike Budenholzer took over the Milwaukee Bucks, their defensive system had a singular focus, stopping the ball from getting to the rim. This translated to ranking last in the NBA for opponents' three-point frequency the past four seasons. Simply put, the Bucks didn't care how many threes you took. Their infamous drop ball screen coverage has been the go-to defense to take away paint attacks and keep their bigs in rim protection. But the way they defend around the drop coverage has completely changed this season, and the Bucks are back to being the best defense in the NBA because of it. Last season, the Bucks would strategically leave opponents' worst players open and opt to protect the rim instead. When either Lopez or Giannis was in drop coverage, they would help the nail in the gap to stop the drive at the cost of giving up open three-point shots. Anytime a player drove to the rim, the first reaction was to help and stop any attacks. Here's an example when DeRozan drives. The trio of Portis, Giannis, and Lopez all help, leaving a corner three-point shot open. The other three players that were not involved in the main ball screen action would tend to zone up and be available for help instead of being closer to their man. After they helped, then they would close out as best as they could to the three-point shot. This season, the Bucks' defense is taking away three-point opportunities for their opponents by staying more attached on the player's space in the floor. Here's an example of this. When Murray drives against Lopez in drop coverage, the strong side corner Giannis is staying attached on his man, where previously he might dig down and help in the lane. Opposite low man Drew is staying closer to his main space in the corner, and the opposite slot Allen is going to be around the elbow. Now contrast this with last year's playoffs where Giannis was basically ready to help off the corner. Wes Matthews had a foot in the paint. Lopez is ready to help in the paint. Drew is ready to help off of his man. Giannis and Drew in this scenario are both staying at home, not allowing corner threes. The Milwaukee Bucks are the number one team in the NBA preventing one of the most valuable shots, corner threes. The design of their defense when the ball is being driven, the players in the corners are staying closer to their man and even stunting to fake like they're going to help to bait and slow down the player with the ball, but staying attached to their man. Staying more attached to these players means less opportunities to create if the initial ball screen doesn't have an advantage, forces the players to play two on two and attack one of, if not the best, rim protectors in the NBA in Brook Lopez. Here's a good example of the off-ball basics from Wes Matthews. He's initially more in gap help around the elbow, but as the ball is being driven into the lane, he slowly recovers back out to his man at the three-point line. The pit bull bearing of Javon Carter and Drew Holiday make life miserable for the other team's guards from the moment they get the ball. Picking up full court and after free throws and after timeouts, they force the other team to use valuable time on the shot clock and prevent them from attacking with clear vision while forcing turnovers. By having Javon Carter harass the other team's point guards, this now allows Drew Holiday to shift to more off the ball and completely hawk and focus on the other team's best scores. One of the benefits of having Drew off the ball is his ability to use his high IQ to essentially play free safety and wreak havoc and help defense. Denying opposing players, helping out in gaps randomly and roaming off the ball when he can, he obviously has the trust of the staff to do so. Drew's insane on-ball defense to shut down opposing team's best scores is perhaps his most valuable piece. He has a strength to battle in the post, the hands to get swipe steals and deflections, and athleticism to stay with the quickest guards. There's nothing he can't do on the defensive end. This on-ball pressure and fighting through of the guards really make their drop coverage elite, since they can recover and force tougher shots without overextending their help defense. One of the special things about Drew Holiday is the way he gets skinny when defending the ball screen and stays attached to the ball handler. This takes away any chance for clear pull-ups, and watch here how his active hands in the pocket take away a quick drop-off pass to the roller. Drew's active hands means that even when the offense looks to get players who have an advantage, he can take away that vision and the ability to make those passes. The intriguing part of the Bucks' defense is even though they are taking away more three-point shots, the guards go under ball screens all the time. This allows them to recover easier on drives in the lane, to cut off angles as well as contest shots. Plus, off the dribble threes are not as efficient as catch and shoot. However, this does open up opportunities for made threes when players get stuck on a screen or a shooter is hot. All of this guard pressure leads to rush drives and decisions when attacking the best rim protectors in the NBA, with Brooke Lopez usually waiting for them coming at him. Lopez uses great patience and precision when backing up in drop coverage. Notice how he shades with his left hand without fouling and then contests with his right hand and blocks the shot from Cade. 
a little higher up here again to Jante Murray because of the threat of the pull-up. Lopez does a great job recovering on the reject, arm barring with his right arm, keeping his left hand vertical and blocking the shot. He can sag off in the lane, and the reason for that is he can drop deep by tagging cutters or touching players in the paint that allow him to stay in the paint longer and sag off of bigs. And then once the ball screen's being set, he does a great job of recognizing it and then getting in a good athletic position being ready for attack. And when he sags off like this, it allows him to stay in help position and one-on-one -on -one position for defending the rim, which he is one of the best, if not the, the best in the NBA at. Here he does a good job keeping his hands wide and waiting for the rise and then contesting the shot. Again here, same thing from Julius Randle attacking. He just stands flat-footed, waiting for Randle to go, and then times out his jump and contests with the block. He's one of the best players in the NBA at playing the cat and mouse game of drop coverage, using his length, timing and IQ to disrupt passes to the roll man, block attacking guards coming at him for pull-ups, and contest without fouling, a huge key for the Bucks defense. Not fouling the other team has been a staple of the Bucks defenses under Budenholzer. This year's team is no different. When guards are driving, the defenders will show their chest and arms to avoid contact with their body and not foul. Brunson here drives into the lane and tries to jump back into the defender slightly, but Hill recognizes it and avoids contact while keeping his hands in the air to clog space and make the shot harder, but not foul. When Giannis is at the five, they will execute the same drop coverage and use his length to deflect, disrupt, and force the same tough shots while playing with more space on offense. Playing Lopez at the five with his drop coverage and having Carter or Drew, among others, harassing guards the other team, now allows Giannis to guard a weaker defender and become the best weak side defender we have in the NBA. He roams off of non-threats from three, waiting in the wings to obliterate chances to score, contesting every shot he can, and then devouring defensive rebounds to start the break. Another way they take advantage of this is pairing Giannis and Bobby Portis together to have Portis guard the fives or the main ball screeners of the other team, keeping Giannis in the help side and rim protection behind him. Portis, they play a slightly different coverage. In certain matchups, when they go to this lineup, they will have Portis at the level of the ball screen to take away any three-point looks and then have the defense behind him rotate. Now notice here how Giannis rotates over early in the help. Wes Matthews is around the same elbow position with one step closer, but the opposite corner does not lead the corner until the pass is made. Another example of the emphasis of taking away corner threes. Boonholzer and his staff have created a perfect defensive system, starting from pressure from the guards, rim protection with Lopez and Giannis combined with a defensive scheme designed to force you into the least efficient shots and take away threes. A fantastic change to a team with championship aspirations.